my heart. This is what the Lord wants. He wants to win your heart. He wants to win my heart. Amen. He wants every nook and cranny of our hearts. That's why he came to win our hearts back. We were far from him. Come on, the world was far from him, separated from his love by sin, but he had a solution. Praise the Lord. Aren't you so glad? And this solution was already pre-planned before the problem ever came to pass. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. It doesn't matter how dark the world is or how dark your life has been. Jesus can come and light up any area of your life. So we want to welcome those online as well. We want to encourage you and invite you to really participate all over the world. I really participate in this service. There's breakthrough for you as there's breakthrough for us in this room. Amen. The Bible says in John 9 verse 4, we must click quickly carry out the tasks assigned to us by the one who sent us. Wow, that's what Jesus said. Quickly. The night is coming and then no one can work. So there's a time coming that we can't work. So many times we think, well, we're going to just work once. I'm perfectly prepared for it. But the preparation is in getting busy and putting your hand to the plow. Amen. As Pastor Paul preached last night, to follow the Holy Spirit and do what he's told you to do on the inside. And so Jesus says, but while I'm here in the world, I am the light of the world. He wants all of us to receive him. If we've not received him as our light of the world, come on. Then now is our opportunity to receive him and to welcome him in. Into every area, not just for eternity's sake. But every area of our lives right now. Surrendering it to his light. And that's not the last part. Then he wants us to become the children of God, just as Jesus is the Son of God. He wants us to be sons and daughters of God. We're not here in this world just to have a job and hopefully a happy family and a white picket fence in front of our yard. Come on. And then hopefully we have a peaceful life and we're out of here and then we're going to just frolic with the angels in heaven. That's not the real story. Come on, that's a fairy tale story. The real story is that you're called to be a son and a daughter of God, to rule with Jesus, just as Jesus rules over everything. The storms, come on, demonic spirits, darkness. Jesus said this, you are the light of the world. Wow, you are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket, but instead a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone. Everyone in your life needs the light that is inside of you. You are that light. To everyone in the house, in the same way, let your good deeds shine before all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. Amen. Our good deeds of love and of, of wisdom and of the power of God to set the captives free gives glory and honor to our Father. Because then the Father looks at you and me and goes, that's why I placed them in the earth in 2018, 2019. This is why they are here. Amen. We're going to let our light shine. This is such a powerful responsibility that Jesus has given us as children of God and as the ones born of the Spirit after him. Jesus said in John 20, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I sent you. The Father sent Jesus to seek and save the lost, to destroy the works of darkness, the works of the devil. And Jesus says the same way the Father sent me, now me as your big brother and your king at the same time. I'm sending you in the same way to do the same things. Then he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. Amen. We were singing that today. Breathe on me. Flood me. Uh, overtake me. That's an invitation that we have to give the Lord. Whatever you give him permission to do, he will come and do it. 
If you ask him for the Holy Spirit to empower you to be the light of the world, he will come and empower you. Amen. And it says, if you forgive anyone's sins, they are forgiven. Remember, Jesus would say that to people, even the paralytic who needed a healing in his body. Jesus took, went all the way to the root cause of sickness and disease, the punishment of sin. And he said, your sins are forgiven. Now, there was no more reason for the paralytic to be punished with paralyzed body. But he took the root away. Jesus says, you can take the root problem away by forgiving people all over the place. Isn't that wonderful? Now, if you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. So let's go about. I don't know what kind of family week you had this week, but forgive. Amen? Because you're the light of the world. You're not just a human being. We're not just mere men and women living in this earth. We are the sons and daughters of God. So, Lord, we invite you right now to flood us with your light, to flood our minds, and to cleanse our minds from all clutter, distractions. We thank you, Lord, that you want to work with us today, to take us to another level, to bring the breakthrough. And so we invite you, Holy Spirit, Baptize us to overflowing. Come on, church, let him hear you. I'm going to get all of it otherwise. Baptize me to overflowing, Lord. Flood me with your Holy Spirit. Oh, let the Holy Spirit's baptism bubble up in me and empower me to be the light of the world in the name of Jesus.